Hello and welcome to Carpenter Tutoring's Computational Problem Solving with Rust. Uh, this is going to be a course, um, a multi-part course that I'm going to try and teach as best I can through YouTube uh, on behalf of Carpenter Tutoring on our channel. Uh, this is sort of an introduction, a chapter zero, if you will, to what the course is going to be about, what you're going to learn in the course, um, why you might be interested in the course, or why you might want to look somewhere else. Uh, so let's go ahead and jump right in. I'm going to share information on these resources here as I move through some slides for you. So what is this course? This is essentially an introductory problem-solving course using programming to solve problems. Um, it's based on curriculum that I've experienced in my schooling, kind of a 101 level um, AP computer science or, you know, introductory computer science course um, at, a, uh, at a university, for example. Um, but it's going to use Rust as the language. So it's going to teach solving problems with programming uh, using Rust as the language to do that. So hopefully by the end of this course, you will have the knowledge as a complete beginner, starting as a complete beginner, to be able to write programs to solve your own problems. Um, it's going to teach programming fundamentals. It's going to teach a little bit about data structures and types and execution and debugging and other higher level concepts about how a computer works, what memory looks like, um, how we actually move data around or represent data, things like that. That's going to be the overall content taught in this course. Why would you be interested in this course? Who is it for? Well, the idea is people who are new to programming, people who have used computers, but maybe They've never been able to quite get a computer to do what they want it to with the software that they have available. Um, you could be in school and you could be new to computer programming and you might have to learn computer programming for a course. Uh, you might have a job where if you learned a little bit of programming, you could get a lot more done and you could finish your day early. Um, if you're just curious about how computers work and you kind of want to figure out what makes them tick or you want to know a little bit about what goes on in the software that you use every day, you want to experiment, um, this course might be for you as well. Basically, it's for everybody. Um, programming isn't something in my mind that only a few people should know about. It's not just for computer programmers or software engineers or whatever, whatever you do for a living that involves computer programming. Um, working with data is a part of our everyday lives, right? Number crunching, working with text, shuffling information around from place to place. Um, especially number crunching and text processing, those are two primary reasons to get into computer programming. Maybe you're math focused, maybe you're writing focused, um, maybe you are scientific and the work that you do requires parsing all kinds of written language. Um, I think everybody can find the skills that you would learn in this course useful. So uh, the tagline here and hopefully uh, throughout the course is, it's for everybody who wants to solve problems with their computers. Why might you not be interested in this course? I have to emphasize that this is for beginners, not just beginners to Rust, that's secondary, but really people who are beginners to programming. So if you're already proficient in computer programming, you already know how to write programs or solve problems on your computer by telling it to do what you want it to, this course is not for you because you're probably gonna see a lot of repetitive information. Uh, it's also not a course for people who want to pick up Rust fast. There's a lot of those available. There's some great ones that you can go and check out right here on YouTube, but it's just not the point of this course. Uh, if you already know how to program and you want to go and pick up Rust fast, I highly recommend you start at the Rust website. There are a lot of great resources available, including a book written by the folks who developed Rust, and that is the fastest way in my mind to pick up a language. This is not, this is gonna be a long haul. It's also not for people who don't want to learn something slightly more difficult to make their life much, much easier, because that's what I hope to do here. I hope that by the end of this course, you'll have skills to go out, explore, uh, make things work, solve problems, uh, take care of arduous tasks, automate, whatever you need to do. 
I'm hoping that you're like, whoa, this is cool. Like, this is something I wish I had for a really long time. That's the goal here. If you don't care about that, uh, you can go watch something else, I guess, because <laughs> that's that's what we're going to do here, hopefully. Uh, materials. I mentioned before that this is based on coursework that I've completed in the past. Uh, I am using this book as a reference, actually, Practice of Computing Using Python. Uh, this is my uh, second edition book for Python 3. Um, this course is really kind of a translation uh, for this book. Uh, if you're interested in getting this book, you can grab it online. There's a new edition out now as well. Uh, here's the third edition, so slightly newer than the one that I have. But uh, it's going to be using the Python programming language, and that's not what I'm using this course for. I have reasons that I'll describe later um, for why I think that Rust is a good beginner language um, and some of my reasons for doing that. But if you're interested in learning Python as your first language and you want to learn how to program through Python, get this book. <laughs> it's really, really good at that. Um, and it'll do everything that I hope to accomplish in this course as well, probably better. Uh, so that's where I'm getting the course framework, essentially, right? This book, I think it teaches in a good direction. Um, it's not quite as language oriented. You can't escape learning the nuances of any language, regardless of the one that you choose. But I think that this book is really good at teaching you how to think rather than just teaching you syntax. Um, and so that's why I'm using this as the basis for this course. Now, the syntax has to come from somewhere, right? And since we're using Rust, the syntax that I'm borrowing from comes from the Rust programming language book which is provided at rustlang.org. Um, this is the way to start if you're already knowledgeable about programming, if you already kind of know how computers tick and you just want to pick up Rust. This is how I learned um, when I first picked up Rust. I highly recommend it. It's a good read and it helps you quickly become productive in the language. Uh, but it is going to be where I get a lot of the content for uh, the syntax in this book, as well as the greater Rust documentation ecosystem. So if you want reference to the references to those, excuse me, uh, you can get them here. I go and grab the links. Who am I? Why am I teaching this? I feel like every slide deck that starts a bunch of other slide decks has to include this. So I included it uh, to look like everybody else. Uh, I'm Adam Carpenter. Um, I am uh, <laughs> currently working with my wife, Amy, who runs Carpenter Tutoring to provide some computer science and computer programming type material for Carpenter Tutoring. Um, I got my bachelor's of science from College of William & Mary in Williamsburg, Virginia. I majored in computer science there, uh, and that's where I got to experience this course. Uh, I've also been working as a software engineer uh, for, I think, five years last week, actually, and I'm primarily working on server-side automation um, support desk, self-service, that sort of thing is my bread and butter. And I've been using Rust for over three years now. Uh, I first started using it um, at work after I graduated, actually. I was looking for a language that had all of the cool things that I liked about something like C++, uh, but with all the cool things that I liked from something like Python or Go or something along those lines. So if you want to find out more about me, you can check out either of these links uh, there's a little more biographical information in there. Um, I don't have any teaching degree, uh, so if it seems like this is my first time doing this, that's because it kind of sort of is. I've done a lot of training at my workplace um, that I think gears me a little bit more towards being able to present this kind of information in a digestible way, but you should know that I'm not an expert as you go into this. Uh, I'm just doing this for fun and to hopefully educate somebody uh, you watching this video. And last but not least, some starting resources. These are things that you're probably going to want to have as we get started. Um, you're not going to need them for chapter one, but probably in chapter two you're going to start needing them. I recommend you go and check these things out on your own time. I'll probably make some shorter videos in the future to help get set up, but uh, the Rust Playground is a great way to get started with the language without installing anything at all. Uh, it is available here, play.rustlang.org. Um, as you can see, it gives you this interface where you can enter a little bit of Rust code. You can run it. You can see what happens. If all of this looks really foreign to you right now because you've never touched anything like this before, 
that's totally fine. We're going to cover it later. But you can at least check it out, make sure you have access to it, get a little bit familiar with it before we start using it. So there's some other things here as well. If you want to install the language and tools that we will be using throughout this course on your own workstation, on your computer, uh, you can do that at this link. There are super basic and helpful instructions there. And then if you want to learn a little bit more through uh, written books, documentation, um, other courses that might be available, there's a whole bunch of resources here on the Rust Lang website. And so I plug that here just in case you want things that I don't cover in this course. You want to go and deep dive into the language, learn something, or read more about something that we talk about. That's a good place to find it. So this is a very brief introduction. Um, I hope that you're interested in at least checking out the first course. If you have questions or comments, leave them down in the comments below. I'm going to try to answer as many questions as I can in the following session um, at the beginning. That way it's a little more interactive. So thank you for watching. Really appreciate your time. Uh, hopefully you enjoy this course and benefit from it. Uh, my name is Adam with Carpenter Tutoring. Have a great one. I'll catch you next time.